Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and you are listening to Subhash Chandran. This video is going to be an awareness video to understand from where does the piping project actually come from. Who is the originator of the project and who is the owner of the project. Let's have this understanding very clearly. Now let's get into the topic. Before getting into the topic, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly give me a subscription to motivate me. Let's get into the topic. So before getting into the subject, we should understand the very important thing about the piping. Piping is a medium to transfer the fluid such as liquid, gas, slurry from one location to another location. These fluids could be either of uh, hydrocarbon, chemicals, water, steam, gas and air. So piping is a medium that enables an infrastructure so that the fluids could be transferred safely. Now we should understand one more important thing. In our world, there are certain industries which are highly dependent on piping systems because these industries are dependent on the efficiency of the fluid flow. Industries such as oil and gas, petrochemicals, chemicals, power, pharma and water treatment. These industries are highly dependent on the piping system. Without piping system, these industries cannot exist in the world. To know more about this, uh, the type of industries where you will be able to find more piping opportunities and the type of industries which is highly dependent on the piping systems, you can check this video which I have already made. The link of the video is already given in the uh, description of this uh, video. So you can go and check that video. It will give you a more idea about the industries where uh, the, the where which is highly dependent on the piping systems. Now we should understand an important thing. Since all of these industries have their infrastructure built, then why do they have to go for a new project? The first reason for them to go for a new project is because of an increasing demand, increasing population and increasing the demands of the connected industries. So definitely they have to go for a new project. And the second important reason is depreciating life of piping because of usage, because of the material life. The old piping needs to be replaced, otherwise it will uh, create an accident or it will create a, a very huge damage to the process plan. So depreciating life of piping is one of the important reasons to go for a new project. And the third important reason is that expansion. Expansion for more revenues. Who doesn't want a more revenue, more income, more money? So every company wants to grow their revenue. So expansion is one of the very important reason for a new project. The fourth important reason is that damage is due to over usage. There are some plants which are uh, used more than its capacity. So definitely there will be a damage in the system. So to rectify those damages, new projects has to be created. The fifth important reason is damage is due to operation negligence. There are certain activity in the process plan that needs a human interference. So when it comes to human interference, there is a possibility for an error. These error could damage the system that has to be rectified. So these are the five important reasons why they have to go for a new project. In order to rectify all of these issues, definitely the company, the owner has to go for a new project. Now we'll let's understand the origin of the project. See the origin of the project is actually from the owner of an industry. So owner of the industry address the issues that we have discussed now in a document. So he will list out the requirements of the project and what piping to be replaced and what piping to be installed as new. And then it goes for a tender uh, so that and, uh, the engineering companies can code for this uh, tender. So engineering companies what they do is engineering companies they study the documents that is received by the owner. They will go through the documents, they will understand the process, they will estimate, do a clear cut estimation of how much it costs for engineering, construction, materials and everything. And finally they submit a bid with an estimated cost to the client actually. So now the, the, the final uh, quotation has gone to the client which means they gone to the owner of the industry. Now owner of the industry not only receive uh, the quotation from uh, one uh, engineering company basically they receive bid from more companies actually. If they are going for uh, three companies they will evaluate between three companies sometimes they go for five six to find out the cheapest option. So the important role of the owner here is to evaluate the, the, the bid that can give the better in terms of cost, in terms of service and in terms of the time period, project execution and all actually. There are lots of um, uh, parameters to evaluate the bid, the, the bid of an engineering company. So it is a, one of the important role of the owner. So owner chooses the best bid and once after choosing the best bid then the contract will be issued. The owner will write an official signed contract that will be issued to the company to start their engineering activity. 
the official contract is known as a project after receiving an official contract engineering companies start arranging start mobilizing their resources to uh, start the project so this is how the engineering project this is how the piping project comes from the owner to the engineering companies i think this video has helped you to understand the basic of how from where the piping project actually comes from if you like this video give me a like and also share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll meet you in another fantastic video until then bye from subhash chandra